Yo, what is going on guys? Tough tier and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the PC equipment that you have and how essential it is to your actual performance in game. Now, recently I've acquired a new mouse and a new keyboard and I can honestly say that I cannot be more pleased and I honestly can say that I have noticed a difference in the uh, quality and you know sort of the level that I've been playing at. Now, like I said in a couple of videos previous to this one, I just got a PC in 2015. This is the first full year that I've played uh, computer games on PC, like Counter-Strike, pretty much exclusively. And uh, when I first started playing, I had this really, really shitty uh, set of mouse and keyboard uh, that came free with my PC. And honestly, I had no idea what it was called. It was like the... I don't even remember. It's like some really crappy no-name like gaming PC. Uh, and it came with this free mouse this free keyboard and honestly I've been using those for the past like six or seven months which is honestly it was okay to get used to at the beginning but like now that I've reached a qual like a level of play where you know I'm starting to notice that this mouse and this keyboard isn't cutting the cheese let's say like it's not performing or it's not allowing me to reach my full potential I guess you could say so with your mouse and your keyboard being the tools of the trade um, are sort of actually pretty important to how well you play when you're playing CS. Now, uh, for other games it's less important, but obviously I did notice uh, that there was a point in time where I reached a skill level that I was like, okay, the mouse and the keyboard that I have now aren't allowing me to progress any further. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be good and have a really crappy mouse pad and, you know, mouse and keyboard. I'm sure there are godlike players out there who have been, all, like, functioning and, like, playing on these, you know, free mouse pads and free keyboards and free mice that come with their PCs. And I'm sure they exist. Like I said, it's not impossible, but it's going to make your uh, life a lot easier. It's going to make getting better a lot more fun as well because, uh, you know, obviously it adds a little bit of a learning curve, but you're going to notice that uh, new equipment can actually help increase your performance. Now, I have been playing on a 1080p monitor for uh, the entire period of this, you know, almost full year that I've been playing, but um, after about seven months, the keyboard and the mouse is what really started to uh, deteriorate. Now, I noticed that uh, the keys started to break down really fast. And it got to the point where like I didn't even have to move my fingers to push the keys down and so obviously that was causing problems with my movement and stuff and um, obviously it's the same with the mouse uh, the left click or mouse one button was extremely like soft and I barely even had to rest my finger on it for it to click and all of a sudden uh, you know shoot off my gun and <laughs> it was just it led to all these situations where I was like uh, you know, sneaking up behind somebody or like playing silently or like lurking on someone and then all of a sudden my gun would just start fucking firing off like there's no tomorrow and all of a sudden I'd, you know, cover blown all it, and everyone's like, what the hell just happened, dude? Like, why were you shooting around like at the wall and shit? And I was just like, yo, I literally like breathed on my mouse. I like, I sneezed and my mouse one just started to go off, but um, I've recently acquired the Razer Death Adder Chroma and the Razer <coughs> um, uh, Black Widow Tournament Edition. And honestly, I can say that the combination of these two <coughs> is something that uh, has really helped improve my game. Now, I'm not sponsored by Razer or anything. I'm not being paid to say this, but I do feel like uh, this mouse and this keyboard are some of the higher end ones that I tried. I did actually go to a store and test out a couple different ones. Now obviously mouse and keyboard are completely based on preference. Like the Death Adder I think really fits the form of my hand and I really like it. It's very ergonomic to me and it fits the you know sort of play style that I have and it, it fit comfortably for me. Same with the uh, tournament edition. The reason why I went with the tournament edition keyboard if you don't know what that is it's just a smaller version of the uh, regular uh, Black Widow except it's missing the numpad and extra like, you know, five or six inches of keyboard that will come with that so it's a lot smaller and I play with my keyboard extremely tilted it's probably almost at you know an 85 90 degree angle almost uh, you know perpendicular to my body like when I'm sitting facing the screen so for me the smaller keyboard was really uh, you know helpful and allowed me to be more comfortable when I play and it also I felt like uh, I actually I got the stealth edition so like the lighter uh, keystroke whatever you want to call it like the pressure that takes to push down a key was a little bit lighter which is nice because um, I'm not saying like a, 
if my fingers are sensitive or anything, but like I like the quick responsiveness of it, and also it doesn't make it as loud of like a clacking noise when you're smashing the keys down. But I found that these two uh, ended up being a really nice pick. I did try out a couple other mice, and uh, I did um, test some other keyboards and things in a store that I went to, and um, honestly. Mouse and keyboard are a lot like extensions of in-game settings and the sense that you can really customize them and you know pick the ones that suit you the best based on your personality or not personality but like in-game like play style uh, you know how like the physical features of your body like how big your hands are you know how big your fingers are you can get keyboards and uh, mice based off of almost any measurements and any uh, range of person so I mean if you have really big hands or something like you're gonna want to go find a mouse that's you know suitable for that so there are hundreds of options out there um, some better quality than others but all it is is just finding one that's suitable and comfortable for you and uh, honestly I do think that if you have the right mouse and keyboard or something that's at least comfortable uh, then you'll have a much better time and ultimately progress and get further and be better at CS than you were before only because uh, you know, sometimes obviously the you know technical aspect of it, like if the uh, stats and specifics of a keyboard or mouse were better than the ones before, like if it's an upgrade to the one you previously owned, then obviously it's going to be better in that sense. But like I said, there are still good players that play on the you know free keyboard and mouse that come with your PC sometimes. So I mean, it's all preference. It's based up to uh, you know how you want to approach it, what you think is necessary for you. Uh, you know, honestly your budget is important too. There are some pretty good uh, cheaper uh, lower end mouse pads, mice, and keyboards that are all really good. I've tried, like I said, I've tried out probably like 10 or 12 different mice before I uh, picked the Death Adder and though it is kind of a mainstream mouse, a lot of people use it. It's understandable why because it's a very very comfortable mouse if you ask me and uh, I didn't mean for this to turn into like a product review or anything but I was just sort of trying to explain to you guys that the uh, equipment that you use is actually pretty uh, important to your play and whether or not you have certain preferences or care a lot about certain other things you can upgrade and you know purchase equipment that is suitable for you and if you haven't upgraded your mouse or keyboard and uh, you know you're thinking about doing it for a long time you definitely should especially with the uh, you know new year you're gonna wanna treat yourself to something nice so Stop spending money on skins and then gambling them all away and go buy yourself a nice mouse and keyboard. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure you comment down below what mouse and keyboard you guys have, how long you've been using it, and if you think it's a good fit for you. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And until next time guys, I will see you all later. Peace.